Hello! Ah, nearly Valentine's Day again. Valentine's Day, of course, being a conspiracy by greetings cards companies in order to make lonely people feel even worse. But anyway, let's have a look at the crap that stores like Poundland fire into our faces at this time each year in order to bolster their profits and supposedly make our day more romantic. And let's start by setting the scene with rose petals. Scatter them on your bed for a night of love. Yes, fake rose petals. Let's scatter them oh dear, from a company called No Angel. Hmm, that's dodgy connotations if you know about UK law. Anyway, let's scatter them on the sofa to create our love nest. Hmm, not entirely convinced by this. Well, they do look a bit like rose petals, I suppose. And unlike rose petals, won't get caught under the bed and then go mouldy and smell weird for ages whilst you wonder what it is and search around frantically. Um... Yeah, well, that's set a mood, I suppose. I don't know. I just can't get out of my head that this is basically Valentine's Day litter. Oh, well. Also, I wouldn't actually put them on your bed before lovemaking, as if you have ever made love, you will know you tend to get quite sweaty and they'll stick all over you. And there's nothing particularly romantic about your beloved having to pull bits of matted fabric guff off the bottom of their foot. Anyway, let's have a look at some more... How shall we put it? traditional items that you would perhaps give to somebody who you want to do rude things to. And, thanks to Poundland who reduced this to 50p, hooray! We've got a... what's written on it? Sweet Mallow Rose. Mm, oh, just occurs me I've got to eat it. This isn't going to go well. It basically, if I can ever get it out of the packaging, it looks like it's been stepped on. Oh good, I'm glad that's going in my mouth. Um, yeah, it's just like a lump of sugar and gunk, which has been fashioned into the shape of a rose very loosely, so that you can give your beloved, and they can eat it and their teeth will drop out, and uh, yeah, let's not finish that joke because it's getting rude. Um, right, let's undo it. Oh dear, it's high security packaging. It's got these horrible twist ties that's been chromed, or vac metalized, or whatever process they use for chroming twist ties. Oh dear, well this is exciting, isn't it? Already the mood has gone. She's got in a huff and gone home, and you're just going to have to watch a DVD. Come on! Damn thing, I'm going to have to cut it, aren't I? Oh no, we've got it! Hooray! I say that under advisement. And that, oh. Hang on, I'll get some scissors. <sighs> right, there you go. I'm in a bad mood now. Don't fancy any lovemaking, just fancy being grumpy. Right. Hmm. Well, it looks a bit like a rose, I suppose. A bit of a mutant rose. Interestingly... The leaf bit comes off just revealing a lolly stick, giving away its true form. And there's a really horrible black mark on it there. I don't know if you can see that on camera. I don't know if you can. It looks a bit... Mm, I might eat the other side, I think. Oh, man, there's a hair in it! Seriously, look, can you... S oh, can you see that? It's just in there. I don't know if that's being picked up. If you're watching it in HD, you can see it and it's hair-tastic. Look at it, it's stuck right in it. Oh, that is no absolutely disgusting. No wonder it's down to 50p. I don't think it's a real hair. I think it's some sort of man-made fibre. I can't get it out. No, it's actually baked into it. Oh. oh, come on. Well, that's ruined the mood completely now, isn't it? Valentine's Day is cancelled. And I've still got to eat this a bit of it, I suppose, haven't I? Right. Let's avoid the hair and avoid the dirt on it. <laughs> I'm just going to get this over with. Hang on. Mmm. Mm, I've got sugar on the outside, not on the inside. No. Well, it's just sugar, basically, so it's not that unpleasant. But I have this horrible feeling I'm catching diseases from it, due to its filthy, hair-encrusted nature. Mmm. Well, it's probably the nicest of the horrible sweets I've had, but... Yeah, when it's actually that dirty, that's not a good thing, is it? Anyway, keeping with a the food theme... Look at this. Also reduced to 50p. They reduced everything early this year. It saved me a fortune. Well, about £1.50. It's a heart-shaped frying pan. Love. Look, you can fry an egg in it and it will be in the shape of the traditional heart thing. Love heart-shaped frying pan. Create heart-shaped fried eggs for your loved ones. Instructions. Wash before first use. Use oil or butter to coat pan before cooking. Do not use in high heat. Always use oven gloves when using pans. Not suitable for microwaves! Well, that told us. Well, I'm going to hand over to our culinary expert, Chef Excellence, for this. And for the first time, I've let him direct his own sequence. Away we go.
Bloody hell. I knew I shouldn't have taken him to see the artist. What was up with all the dodgy focus and the uh, wobbly camera? Anyone would think he has really shaky hands? Oh. Right, let's move swiftly on then. Do some Valentine's Day statues. You know, just like isn't traditional. We start off with Be Mine Horny Devil Photo Clip. This is going to be good, isn't it? <clears throat> Reduced 50p. Hooray, it is good. Right. It's a little statue of a wobbly devil on a spring. He's horny, apparently. That means he wants to do rude things, in case you weren't aware. And he's got a photo. And pleasingly, it comes with a heart-shaped photo of stock photo Greg, who's just washed his hair there. And it's an interesting thing. Not really. It's just painted red. And he's got a big, smiley face. And he's got a little trident, and he's got his tail wrapped around him. And he's got some sort of white fluid or something that's dropped on his head and is dripping down his... Let's move straight on to the next statue. Badass Bears! Hooray! This is a rip-off of, like, a thing that was popular a while ago. Sorry for pausing there. I just noticed, that I sadly didn't notice in the shop when I bought it, it's smeared in filth. Is this why Poundland reduced all these to 50p? Was the pallet full of hairs and filth? I mean, look, it's all... Oh, it looks like dried fat or something. <sighs> Deary me, and it's broken. I've just... But, oh, let's just get it out. The idea is it's a hilarious teddy bear who's in a sort of sexual dominatrix-type situation. And, yeah, I suppose that fits into the hand like that. Looks like a wick. and set it on fire like a candle. Ah, oh, well, there we are. It's a hilarious teddy bear. It's a lady one because it's got eyelashes and big lipstick and it's wearing a basque and some skimpy bikini bottoms and it's got a bow on the back and look, it's got a whip in order to punish naughty boys or peers of the realm as they're known over here. Um, hmm. This isn't really as uh, well moulded or designed as the real ones. Part of the way you can tell that are the horrifying dead eyes. It really does look like a stuffed animal. So it's in fact the corpse of a dominatrix in teddy form. Lovely. Oh well, let's have something to take the taste away of whatever the flipping heck that thing was. And some love hearts! They had big bags of them in Poundland. I think they might do all year round. I don't know, they only caught my eye at Valentine's. Uh, they have similar sweets to these in America, where they are known as sweethearts, I believe. Although they're of a different composition, have different things written on. For yes, these are little round sweets with a picture of a heart and things written on them. Things like, my all, true love, blue eyes, don't cry. All things that maybe, possibly might be said in a love affair, but probably not. Hopefully not don't cry, because that implies something nasty is going on. Right, let's open it up. Oh, I can't. This isn't a good start. It's all glued. Come on. There must be a way. Ah, let's attack the wrapper. That is the weakest link in the chain. Oh yes, here we go. Yeah, yeah, it's... Uh... Oh, it's all shattered and gone over the sofa. That's not a good start. Well, this one says, kiss me. That makes sense, I suppose. Um, it's a vaguely romantic thing, yes. Oh, man. Are you going to focus? Please focus. I'm going to have to switch to manual focus, aren't I? Back in a second. Right, here we go. Now you can see it says Kiss Me, which is also a very good song by Sixpence None the Richer. First love. Oh, and they called it Puppy Love. They said it would never work. But then they were sweethearts, so everything was fine. And then they went to see a Herbie movie starring the hilarious antics of a Volkswagen Beetle. What else have we got? Cheer up. Never. Uh, love heart. That's weird. Sort of a meta love heart, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just going to describe what I am. There we are. And now, makeup. Yes, that's what you need to wear if you want to go on a romantic date. Or maybe it means people have had some sort of horrifying argument, but everything can be made better with a small lump of sugar-related confectionery. Hmm. Go on, then. I've got a whole pile of them. Let's go through them quick. Bye-bye. Oh, that's a bad one. Crikey. I mean, imagine being dumped by love heart. Terrible. Even worse than being dumped by text. Um, hard luck. Yeah, that one sounds about right. Uh, my pet. Okay, that's weird. We're getting into a sort of BDSM thing going on there, aren't we? Guess who? Um, Benito Mussolini. No, no, oh, no idea then. Uh, Love Heart, or oh, another meta one. Oh, there's quite a lot of those in there. Guess who? 
Didn't we just have that one? There's two. I hope. I've told you before, Mr. Obama, I'm not that kind of man. Uh, good pals. Oh, dear. Join the friend zone using love hearts. Always depressing. Crazy. Yes, I'm mentally ill. Let's get married. I'm shy. Well, if you're so shy, why are you giving people strange emotional sweets? That's not what shy people do. Will you? Hmm, maybe. you have to buy me dinner first. Oh, well, that's enough of that. If Valentine's Day isn't ruined already, it will be as soon as you see your date. Spoiler, have you ever seen the end of The Crying Game?